Hello beautiful soul. So today I'm outside of my little hut and uh, there is a stream next to it so I'm gonna try to use a, a, a program to cancel the, the noise, the background noise and see what happens because there was a, a lot of rain this night and uh, there is a river next to, to, to my street that uh, is flooded so um, there is no power i'm without power and uh, yeah everything like even the water still works with the works by the power system so i have no water which is a new adventure for the day so today's um, um, argument is emotions and feelings so as i said before um, we can divide uh, our being in uh, spirit is vibration, soul is emotions, and uh, the body is a matter. And uh, so the soul is the one that uh, uh, handles the, the energies of our life, and uh, the energies are basically the emotions. And the emotions are carrying the, the information in, the, in this form of energy. So, um, in order to understand the information that uh, an emotion is carrying, we have, to, uh, uh, we have to accept it and uh, let go of that emotion. Once we do it, you start to understand from what that particular situation you can learn. And uh, the feelings it, uh, are basically uh, an assimilation of an emotion that has been repeated many times. And uh, it's something that uh, we're taken from the outside and makes make our own. So if I can uh, handle my, uh, my emotions, my energies, uh, I won't be moved from the energies outside because I'm aware of uh, what is happening and uh, I can, uh, yeah, I can, I can let them in or not. So if somebody is, uh, I don't know, is, is, is angry, is offending you and uh, you are in balance with your emotions, you, you just uh, start to understand that that person is actually suffering and uh, what they're doing is expressing their suffering uh, in that particular way. So uh, the, the thing is, uh, it's not about controlling the emotions. It's about uh, order your perception of the emotion that you're feeling. And uh, it's, uh, it's like, a, a language that comes to you and your magnetic field interprets that language. So if a low emotion on low vibration uh, come to you and you are vibrating high, you can handle it with ease because you are not matched with that. But if you are if you are vibrating in a low vibration, you start to match it and you start to react unaware many times because of our psychological patterns and uh, yeah every every emotion creates a chemical reaction in our body and that we all uh, can relate with um, and and uh, our thoughts creates this chemical reaction because uh, when we think about something we start to feel an emotion about that thing and um, if you, if you uh, feel this emotion many times, you start to create a feeling about it. And by recognizing the feeling, you are thinking about the feeling and you create more of that feeling. So if you are sad and you feel sad and you start to think about how sad I am, you start to think about more things that you're sad about and you just keep this mechanism going again and again and again. So it becomes a loop that uh, can become a part of your personality. 
and we just embody that and think that we are that, as I said uh, yesterday. So, uh, since we were little kids, joy, for example, uh, it's, a, it's a natural and love, it's a natural part of every being, being joyful and being in love because you're alive. It's like a basic layer of, uh, uh, of existence. But since we've been conditioned since uh, we were little kids how to behave, how to adapt to this uh, society and the world, uh, we start to uh, act in a ways because we've been told to and not because we want to, and we start to create a character and we think we are that character. So that leads to suffering because you're playing a character that you are not and uh, your inner self is constantly trying to make you understand that through other situations and uh, yeah. So uh, to, to, to handle that, we need to uh, start to look at how I feel inside and what I think and what my actions are. So being in balance between uh, words, uh, thoughts, uh, emotions and actions. And uh, by doing that, you start to realize that, uh, like, is this me? Is this actually something that I've been taught when I was four years old and I just keep repeating it again and again and again? And I thought my whole life that that was me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I kind of mastered suffering already. <laughs> so now I'm, now I'm in the path of mastering joy again. Because when you start to get rid of these layers of your personality that uh, you think you are and uh, trust me if you're suffering most of those traits are not you because if uh, if you just uh, be yourself and uh, understand that all of these things are made by you by repeating them you can start to unravel those processes to to get to the point when it started. So that's when when you go to like a psychologist or whatever, they go back, 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 back until you find the point when this pattern started. And more you do that, more you let yourself free from these layers that uh, uh, you created around yourself and uh, you start to uh, learn who you truly are. And uh, trust me, that person is joyful, happy, loving human that by nature it's doesn't want to hurt anybody, is just full of this feeling of I am everything, this is so amazing, life it's beautiful. So you just want to share it with everybody and uh, express yourself through through this beautiful feeling. So this is it for today and um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Thank you for listening and I love you. Cheers.